Hello, this is Lulu Vargas from Jesus Lord Fellowship Church. It's Timely Truth. Today, I just want to share to you what I've read and also experienced. On occasion, every one of us, including all believers of Christ, will go through trying times, troubling times, sufferings, pain. And when that happens, it's easy to get disheartened. But the Bible indicates that even during periods of challenge and adversity, God expects His children to respond correctly. The question is, what's the right response? Today, there are a lot of scriptures that can say about what the kind of response that we should do. Like in James chapter 1, verses 1 to 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 to 4. 1 Peter chapter 1, 6 to 7, chapter 4, verse 12. Today, uh, I'm using 1 Peter uh, chapter 1, verse 6 to 7. And this passage teaches us to rejoice during difficulty. Of course, this, not, uh, this does not mean that we must glad about hardship. Even though having a positive attitude during something so negative does not seem right, but after going through such sufferings, it actually makes sense for several reasons. One in first chapter for uh, in first uh, in first Peter chapter one verse six it says, "So be truly glad. There is wonderful joy ahead, even though you have to endure many trials for a little while. Here is an encouragement for us. Through difficult experiences, we can learn to be joyful by having a positive outlook. That's right, my friend. We have to have a positive outlook. The Lord teaches us endurance, perseverance, patience, by turning our hardships into a time of times of learning. And besides, God controls their length and intensity. God wants us to hang in there so that we can have the full benefit of whatever lessons He has for us. Secondly, in verse 7 it says, These trials will show that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire test and purifies gold. Though your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So when your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the whole world. So our Heavenly Father uses trials as a testing of our faith and testing on how obedient we truly are as a refining fire to purify His children and bring them to a greater spiritual maturity. He has a plan and has a specific purpose for everything we experience for each believer. And hardship is one of the tools necessary to strengthen our faith, making us useful to God and prepare us to do His will in summary. Remember, my friends, we cannot avoid hurts. We cannot avoid pains, trials, sufferings, adversities while we are here on earth. But we can always choose how to respond to them. But, of course, it is your choice. It is according to your choice. It's either you respond negatively by magnifying your situations or blaming others of your circumstances or you respond in a positive way by viewing your trials from God's perspective. Though we know that life will not always be easy, but because you have that personal relationship with Jesus, He will see us through. So my friends, I encourage uh, you and me, and that includes me of course, to begin to face challenging times with confidence with inner joy and inner peace, knowing He is building our endurance, purifying our hearts, and making us people with unshakable trust in Him. So believe and rejoice, and God bless you all.